barbell RDL. Now that's a great movement to start with when you're trying to learn how to develop and load your posterior chain. This is going to help before you start doing something like deadlifts or bench over rows to really develop your hamstrings, glutes and lower back so that you can tolerate being in that bench over position. So how we'll start the movement, have the bar set up in the rack on the J-hooks towards the lower end of the rack. You're going to go close to the bar, just outside shoulder width with the grip. Come nice and close, stand up, walk back. Now you're just going to slightly bend the knees, keep your shoulders back, chest up, and then you're going to tip forward and you should feel a good lengthening sensation through your hamstrings. Come down to the point where you can't really go any further and then come back up. One more time, bend the knees, big chest, moving through the hip, giving you a deep stretch through the hamstrings and come back up. Now, the most important things to keep in mind is one, you should feel the stress of the movement on your hamstrings and glutes. If you feel the stress of the movement on your lower back, then you're more than likely doing something wrong. What you're likely doing is really overextending and arching when you're going down into that position. Instead, we want to maintain a neutral spinal position. So the position I'm in basically right now would be considered a neutral spinal position. I set from this position, I brace in this position, my abs are tight and switched on, my lower back is tight and switched on, and then the movement only then occurs at the hip. Just like that. Imagine that your midsection is locked down and restricted from movement, and instead, the movement is only occurring through the hip. So one more time, come close to the bar, make sure you're in contact with it, unrack, step back, slight bend the knees, keeping the bar in contact with the body, and then slowly working your way down, feeling that good stretch in your hamstrings, and come back up. If you lose that sensation and tension on your hamstrings, then you're rushing the movement or doing something incorrectly. So keep that in mind. Slow, controlled movement, keeping the weight on your heels, come back up, moving through the hip, not moving through the spine, the back.